everybody, I'm Chris Provost and I am in Disney California Adventure and you are watching Provost Park Pass. And today on Provost Park Pass, I'm gonna do a secret reveal of the red trolley cars here at Disney California Adventure. Doo -doo. These are the tracks that the red trolley cars go on down the main Buena Vista Street. There are four stops. And if you look up, you're gonna see some wires. This wire here is the electrical wire for the car. But there's a secret about the electrical wire. I'll get to that a little bit later on in the video. Follow the tracks. There are four stops for the red trolley car. This is the Buena Vista Street. This is the st stop that's closest to the main gate as you first enter the main gate. You come right here and the trolley car will come right here. You have a nice little area, some benches right back there where you can sit down and relax and wait while you're waiting for the red trolley car. Good morning. Good morning. Here comes the red trolley. Now you're gonna notice the, oh my gosh, you guys, this red trolley's got a special guest on it. An amazing special guest right there, Mickey! Hi, Mickey! Hello, Albert. You'll notice that grandfather. as they came here, that they are switching the, the switching the uh, cable. So now the cable is going to go in the opposite direction. See how they just put it up right there? That cable then will. Uh, it switches directions whichever way the car is going. Now here's the real truth. It's 100% for show. These cars are not run. So back in the old days, these are based off the Pacific Electric Railway. So right, you see Pacific Electric Railway, also sometimes called the PE. And they were run with electric cables across the top. That's how they power them. But for here, it's just for authenticity. They actually don't power anything. So right here, you'll notice there are, uh, there's two cars here. This is the sixth, uh, the 623 and is also the 717. Now the 623 is, it looks a little more like the early uh, Pacific Electric uh, Railroads from the early 1920s, the 1910s. The number does have significance though because it is the year that Walt Disney came to California, 1923. The Pacific Electric Railroad, it started, it made its debut, I believe in 1887, but it didn't really gain its popularity till around the turn of the century, around the 1900s, the 1910s. At the time, in its height of glory, it had enough that it covered thousands. All of Southern California was covered by crisscrossing tracks for the Pacific Electric Railroad. In fact, if you watch the movie, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you see them riding on these cars sometimes. Now, this thing, this is very popular. It ran up until the 1960s. The freeways and highways kind of eventually got rid of the Pacific Electric Road. Now they did a whole new re-theming here in Disney California Adventure, and this was the part of the new re-theming. It opened on June 15th, 2012. And I love the addition they have here in Buena Vista Street. I love this car, it's so fun. And it's very leisurely. It reminds me of the Main Street vehicles. In fact, if you wanna watch a video about the Main Street vehicles, you can watch it over here, here, maybe right there in the middle somewhere. You learn all about the Main Street vehicles. But let's keep going on here about the red trolley. Do you know what the baby corn said to the mama corn? What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Where's the popcorn? <laughs> He's at work. He's a colonel. In the army, colonel. Yeah. Nice. No, I, I love it. But if you see him, you should butter him up because he's a little salty. Woo yeah. You're on a you're on a roll. Yeah, but do it in a jiffy. <laughs> Thank you, Officer Blue. Of Appreciate course. that. Any old time. Have a great day today. You too. Now periodically they have like a guest, like right now they have Mickey, Vampire Mickey here on the red trolley. Sometimes they'll have like the Newsies perform and they also have Officer Blue be riding around. Most of the time you get on the trolley cars and kind of ride around, but they include them in shows, which is awesome. Now the red trolley cars just recently come back here to Disney Company Adventure and they have the 623. They have the 717, but the 717 still is not running at this time. We don't know when the 717 is coming back. You might be asking, what is the significance of the 717? Well, the 623 is based off the 600 trolley series, which is from like the 1910s so around the 1930s. Then the 1930s, they updated them to the 700 series. So six for the 600 series, 23 the year that Walt Disney came uh, to California. And the 700 series, it looks a little different. It's got the flying wings in the front of it. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you that one because it is being repaired this time. But 717, what does that equal? July 17th, the day that Disneyland opened. What? You'll notice on this 600 series, there's a little more rivets and bolts along the side because that was very reminiscent of that time period. The 717 is, it looks a little more sleek. Oh, you guys. And there he goes. Bye, Mickey. Uh, 
All right, so now I'm looking down. The reason I'm looking down is above me, you can see the electric wire that goes for the red trolley car. Now this was 100% added just for aesthetics. It doesn't really work. The red trolley cars, they are battery operated and they charge up uh, every night, overnight, uh, charge them up for the day. This wire was just added for authenticity to make it look like it's awesome, like it has that electric cable going. And it does, it looks amazing. But there have been some problems by having a cable here because the parade route goes along. The parade route goes along uh, the same, this part of the streets. And because of that, there's a height requirement on the parade route, meaning that sometimes there's been two parades that they had to change their floats. That way they could fit on the parade route without having to cut down those wires. So, you look so good, Mickey. I love your cost. It's scary. Woo! Mickey, you're great. Thank you, Mickey. You're the best. Because of this height requirement for this wire, that has affected some parades. It's affected two parades so far. The first was the Pixar Play Parade. And they had a, a float in there that was Ratatouille. It was too tall, so you couldn't have Ratatouille in that particular parade. All right! The other parade was Paint the Night. The frozen float had to be completely removed because of the wires. And the uh, uh, Little Mermaid, they had to cut it down so it could fit underneath the wires. What? Those pesky wires. Now, I'm going to take you down to the Buena Vista uh, loading area. I'm going to show you some cool facts about this particular attraction that I don't think you probably see it anywhere else. Let's do this. Now, this is the red car, and it looks so impressive. It's the 623. It looks so good. And it looks really big. But did you know that this is a replica? It's one-third the size of the original uh, red car. Just one-third the size. Yes. So I'm going to show you, give you a comparison how big it is. I mean, this is big, but the original ones were way big. This can hold up to 21 people, just so you know. To give you some perspective, I'm going to walk right here into the Kingswell shop. Let's do that. And right here on the left-hand side, you are going to see an old replica, this uh, photograph. There, you can see how big the red trolley was. This is a 700 series, it's 701. You can see how big it is. I mean, this is huge. It's, it's crossing the whole street. So the, our trolleys here at Disney California Adventure, they're only about a third of the size of this right there. Wow, how big were they? Amazing. Look at all the cars, they're stopping waiting. The guy's like, what's going on? I love this. Hollywood. Now, this is my very favorite detail about the red uh, trolley. So you can come right in here. This is where the lockers are. I'm gonna go right into the lockers. And if you go into the lockers, you can look up and what are you gonna see? You're gonna see these are authentic maps of the red trolley, how they used to be back in the day. These are authentic red trolley maps. And if you look at them, they're really cool. They're very detailed. But what I wanna show you, do you know what they did to these maps? They added in line 97. So there is no line 97, but in these maps right there, you notice it says Carthay Circle and it says Hollywood Tower Hotel because these maps are done before they changed it. So it says the Hollywood Tower Hotel. And if you look right up here, you see it says Buena Vista Street. You'll notice that the print, the, the print on it is a little bit different than the original map. They added the Disney California Adventure red line to the original map. How cool is that? How cool is that? And you can see these maps in the lockers area. Go take a look at the locker area. And you can see these maps all up top right there where they've added on the, the red trolley car. Oh! All right, now let's go get on a red trolley car. Here we go. I'm not even on. <laughs> Please remain seated. So you just boarded and ready to go. hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. And watch your children. Para su seguridad, por favor permanezcan sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas adentro del tranvía y cuiden a sus niños. Gracias. This is the front window and they can come up or down. They have them down right now to cause a little breeze, which is nice. And we are now taking off. We're leaving the Buena Vista Street Station and heading on down to the Carthay Circle Station. Passengers per year, comfort, speed, but the lowest safety. We are ready for the 623 car. The 600 series is manufactured by 
Company and Isn't it delightful just to drive? It's, We're it's relaxing. Our first stop on this line, Cars Day Circle. From here, you can connect to Cars Land, Civic You'll notice as we approach, the Cars Day Circle sign starts to swing. That way, do people know? Red trolley is approaching. Something fun to look at when you're on the red trolley is you're going to see different ads. This is what like ads what they used to have on the old red trolley cars. But the ads here are interesting because they are for things here on Buenavista Street. Mortimer's Market, the trolley candy treats. These are all for things that you can see here on uh, Buenavista Street. This side we got the Carte Circle, Hyperion Theater. Look up on the Elias and Co, Clarabelle's. So every ad you see is located here on the Disney California Adventure on Buena Vista Street. Buena Vista Street, that's Carthay Circle, Hollywood Boulevard, and Sunset Boulevard. Those are the four stops we have here on the red trolley car. Now you might be asking yourself, well, how fast does the red trolley car go? It maxes out at four miles per hour. It's a very good, it's a perfect speed to get a nice little breeze coming through the car. Please remain seated. Now we're going on for our next stop. Coming up on the right hand corner of the trolley is going to be Carthay Circle Restaurant, which is modeled after uh, the famous Carthay Circle Theater in Los Angeles. Uh, prepared soy, so it works in 1937. Coming up on the left hand side of the trolley, it's not quite open yet. Um, as you can see, we have a popcorn cart. It's not any regular popcorn cart. Um, it's the only popcorn cart that sells fresh popcorn. If you look up here, you can see where the tracks split up there. When they have both cars running, the, the 717 and the 63, that's where they pass each other. Silver's most famous exports, motion pictures, and one of the reasons Southern California has become the capital of the movie industry is because of our great people here at It's also the stop that we have here. The Hollywood Boulevard stop for the red trolley. You can see the sign right there. We're going to be approaching our next stop on the line. We'll be pulling up right in front of the animation. All right, so we're now departing. And if you see that, that little handle right there, that is the horn for the red trolley car. And, oh well, and the conductor will pull that. It'll honk for them twice when they when she pulls that uh, horn. And she does it at any time there's a corner for them to go around the corner. You notice it beeps twice with only the one pole. Now we're coming up to the final stop here at the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now you'll notice that we stopped kind of a little ways away from Guardians of the Galaxy. This is the new stop. It used to go all the way right there in front of the Hollywood, what was the Tower of Terror. It would drop you right off there. But now it comes here. I think that's because that's part of Avengers Campus. And so we don't approach that. We stop right here and we turn around. And if there's no line, you can stay on and go back. But there is now we're going the other direction. So the lady in the back who was doing the announcements is now going to drive. And our driver now is going to be doing the announcements. So, um, I would love to do announcements like that. I think that'd be the best job in the world. Good morning and welcome aboard the Red Car Trolley 623. My name is Danielle and I'll be your conductor on this line. Up at the front, we have our motorist, Shad. Everybody say hi, Shad. Hi, Shad. All right. Is everybody ready to have a good day today? Yes. Okay, good, because that's the only answer we're accepting at this time. All right, guys, welcome to Hollywood Land. We like to refer to Hollywood Land as Land of the AC because this truly is the best place to escape the heat, especially on Interesting, if you start at Buena Vista Street and go, you're going to get four stops. You get Buena Vista, you get Carthay Circle, Hollywood Boulevard, and Sunset Boulevard. But if you start at the Sunset Boulevard, that's really the Guardian Galaxy, you come back, you only get three stops. You're going to get uh, Sunset Boulevard, Carthay Circle, and Buena Vista. They don't stop at Hollywood on the way back. So this is super fun. I mean, this is very relaxing to do. There is no height requirement. Anybody can ride on this. Oh, no. Officer Blue. You. I know. 
All right, so this is this is amazing. We know that the red trolley is smaller in size, but inside everything is exactly the same as the original red trolley. So this is like the lamps, exactly like the way the lamps were. It was exactly how it was. The color scheme was exactly as it was. The benches are the same, but the benches in the original red trolley that ran in LA, they were, they face forward. These ones here are side to side, so we get a little more, it's easier for people to get on and off. Yeah. But I mean, everything else is exactly as it was. It's a perfect replica. The color scheme, the windows, everything. If you were to walk the trail, the, the railing, the tracks, from start to end, it's 1,774 feet. But that was measured in 2012 when they had the stop in front of the Hollywood uh, Tower of Terror. Now it's the Guardians Galaxy. It's a little bit shorter. I'm just going to eyeball and say it's 1,682 feet. We got a new announcer. Sunset Boulevard with two courtesy stops along the way. My name is Derek. I will be your conductor. As you stop, and every stop, the lamps turn on. And then as the ride goes, as the trolley gets going, they, uh, the lamps turn off. Oh, the door just closed. The trolley's about, oh, the lamps just turned off. It means it's time for us to go. You know, the lights Monsters are off. Mike and Sully to the rescue. We're pulling right up to our stop and the doors are going to open. And you notice the lights will turn on when the doors open up. There we go. Watch now you might be wondering, what is a wigwag? Well, wigwag is the name of that sign that goes back and forth to let you know that the trolley is coming. And I'll show you the wigwag on the bay way back. Watch the wigwag. Since we're at a stop right here, you notice the chick, she's pulling down the pole right there, this is the pole right there. And she is going to change that, so that way now it's going in the proper direction. Now keep in mind this is only for aesthetics, but it looks awesome and I love it. up right there and it's now on the cable I'm gonna walk ahead of the red collie and go back to the one of the Carthay Circle stop so I can show you the wigwag again because I think that's really cool walk right down the track and uh, this will give me an opportunity though to tell you a few things one I want you to know how amazing you are I just I mean it you are awesome you are amazing and you make the world a better place no matter what you have going on in the world right now do not give up. Do not, do not give up. You are awesome and absolutely amazing. And I want you to know that you make the world great. So, if you ever feel sad or you ever feel like things are a little unbearable, I want you to know you have a friend in Provost Park Press and I am talking to you. A lot of times people think, well, you can't be talking to me, I'm talking to everybody else. No, I am talking to you. And you might be thinking, not me. Yes, you, you're awesome. So I just want you to know that how great you are. And no matter what's going on in the world, you make the world a better place. All right, let's continue on. Oh, I can hear the trolley. Here it comes. I have to hurry. I got to book it so I can show you the wigwag. <laughs> I got to. I got to beat the trolley. Now, keep in mind the trolley maxes out at four miles per hour. My jogging speed is about three point two miles per hour, so it's catching. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think we got enough of a buffer that by the time I get there, you'll be able to see the wigwag sign wing, uh, going back and forth. Now, currently, this is the only wigwag that's working here or in operation here in Disney California Adventure. So it's a, you should take some time to see it because it's really cool. And most people just walk right by it. All right, let me get there so you can see the wigwag. Okay, there's the wigwag sign right here. And I can hear the red trolley as it, as it starts approaching. The wigwag will start to wigwag. I guess that's what they say. There's the red trolley. It's approaching. And here we go. There it goes. Watch the wigwag for your safety. There it goes. I'm gonna get on again. All right, so this is Danielle, and she's been she's been great. She's been putting up with my puns and jokes. But you notice that the red trolley car conductors, their outfit is reminiscent of the 1920s, the way that the red trolley chart, red trolley cart conductor looked in the 1920s. You look fabulous, oh, by the way. You. You love it. 
Do you like the hat? I do. Who's got the better hat, you or the railroad? I feel like we do. Oh, I think you do too. It looks yeah, so good. I feel like we do. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually buy a replica hat of the conductor here on Buena Vista Street. And it's the only place that sells it. So it's awesome. It's got little ears on it. A lot of people think it's a railroad. And people use a railroad. That's fine too. That's fine. But it's really the red trolley car. If you look on the little top, it says red trolley car on it. <laughs> now you know what a wig bag is. Alright, so let's say I'm a little hungry and I want to go get a treat. Where's the best place here to get a treat? Uh, trolley treats, always. Always, <laughs> let's go to trolley treats. Now you might be asking yourself, where is the trolley treats? It's easy, I'm just gonna go right down here. The trolley treats is right here on Buena Vista Street. It's on the right hand side. And let's go in and take a look at trolley treats. Well, right over here, what do you see? Candy, the big sign that says candy, candy, candy. And what is it called? Trolley treats. Uh oh, we gotta go into the other entrance. Okay, trolley treats though. Let's walk in. I feel we've been very good. And I feel that we deserve a treat. So let's go in Trolley Treats and get one. There it is. Trolley Treats. Let's get a treat. Oh, you guys, they have some like, look at this. It's a seasonal cake pop. This looks very tempting. Look at this one. This one is, this is the churro toffee. Here's the thing about it. It doesn't really look appetizing, but I guarantee if you try it, you'll be like, this is so good. It's so good. I think I'm gonna do this though. The new arrival. Let's do this. Oh, ha, ha. So I just admit, I said, I want this one. So they're like, did you know that this is all marshmallows too? Now I'm tempted. But I like, this has got caramel, right? Does this have caramel? I am unaware. Unaware. So let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. Let's. Get one please, yes. But it does look really cute, doesn't it? All right, so I just came in to get my treat and now they're tempting me. This just came in, Disney California Adventure today. It's this new tumbler and guess what guys? It glows in the dark. Woo! Just got it here today. All right guys, here comes the trolley and I got my treat to celebrate the trolley. Just showing it, there it goes. I got my treat. Thanks for visiting Trolley Treats. You bet. All right, so here I am seeing some shade because it's a little warm. I'm gonna eat my treat. I wanna just talk to you guys and tell you how amazing you are. Now, if you are thinking about coming down to Disneyland or Walt Disney World and you need tickets and you need a place to stay, here's what you wanna do. You're gonna wanna click that link down below. That'll get you the very best prices that Getaway Today has to offer. Or you can call them at one 855 getaway and tell them Provost Park Pass sent you and you'll get the absolute very best prices on tickets that you can get better than anywhere else guys I mean and that's the only reason we talk about that here because we use them I trust them you can click the link down below and get the very best prices on your tickets and your hotel stays for Disneyland Walt Disney World I mean even the Universal Knots if you want to or you can call 1-855-GETAWAY but be sure to call them you tell them Provost Park Pass sent you so you get that the best discount that you can get let's try this Oh, it's so good. It's just exactly what I want. Chocolate, caramel, marshmallow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love it so much. I have a little caramel towel. Mm. What's your favorite treat? At Disneyland, put it in the comments. I'll read this. I want to see what you I think churros are very popular, but have you guys had these? Mm. So good. So oh, good. If you know any facts or cool details about the red trolley that I missed, then go ahead and put it down below. Now I do have to make one correction. I think when I said the map, I think I said line 97 on the, you know, the map uh, above the blockers. It's actually line 98. My mind's saying, I think I said that wrong. So I just want to make a correction. Line 98 is what's here in uh, Buena Vista Street, Disneyland California Adventure. There was never a line 98 in the real world, so they made it here, but on that map, they put line 98. All right, if there's any other cool facts about this particular attraction that you know, put down in the comments down below. You are amazing. Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you later. I'm Chris Provost, and you've been watching Provost Park Best. Bye-bye.